switch passing uh, moment. More stuff goes on. We have the spare tire carrier on, and uh, there are a lot of little things that are important to note about this, and that are there's a number of gaskets and, li and little uh, rubber pieces that go on here that we've been able to save uh, that are no longer available. That would be like this cushion here and this cushion here, and uh, we actually created this. This this little nub here is no longer available, but we just dip it into a rubber coating, and it recreates it. So that actually is a factory Toyota part that's no longer available. This cushion here is important. And then when we open it up, the actual handle itself is in excellent condition. Open it up and we'll see that there is a spring right here as well. This is a factory type spring and the little bracket that it holds on. And it basically makes it so that it keeps a little bit of tension on this. But the, uh, the real part is a, a rubber cushion that's right here. It hasn't been installed yet. And it has not been installed yet, but it is right there. And uh, that one is no longer available. That one will go on as well. And then we have other things like the hook and the uh, cushion here. These, these are still available, but uh, we've just painted these up and put these on along with some gaskets behind them. Other little cushions on the hinge. So the devil's in the details here. And uh, you can see that we even have up here the little rubber uh, plugs that go in here as well. And uh, those are on here. So in a, in a project like this, Details are so important, and uh, the front fender has it. We also have uh, more side glass in. We talked about the uh, Toyota marking, as well as the side glass here for the kickout vent, and uh, more Toyota marking and whatnot. And th these have been restored, obviously. These brackets have been restored and are all original. So, well worth the effort there. More uh, gaskets going on and weather strips for uh, the front door, all on. We're doing these, obviously glue them on by hand, but uh, we are using a special glue that uh, we t is called a 3M 8090 or 8080 spray adhesive. And it actually comes out of a can and we, and we pull it up and spray it onto, uh, into a little can and then brush it on. And it's, it's just fast, it's just fantastic stuff. Works real well. Marker lights are going in. And uh, so every, every moment there's more things that go on. We have all the parts we need. It's just a matter of placing them in as well. You can see in the rear heater, the motor's in. Looks sharp as well.